is a state of equilibrium and balance. Yes, if there is equity. That if imbalance, equity. if anything is absent, there will be no equilibrium and there will be no balance. Thank you. Thank you. That imbalance where peace is distorted may lead to war. Certainly. I put it to you that in a federation, the constituent units for which there is devolution of power and for cultural identity in Nigeria is the states. Is what? The states. Yeah. The devolution of power to the states. Is to the states. And the states and local governments, if you want to go to the third tier, well, it's all are, the, it's all these depends. are the constituent units of the federation. No, no. It all depends upon the type of federation you agree with. What you are reading... I qualified that. I said in Nigeria. It's oh. not a federation of tribes. Oh, I didn't hear you in Nigeria. That's what you are having. It is the constituent made up of states. Yes. And local governments on the third tier. Yes. And in the states, you find various tribes or ethnic groups. Yes. Thank you. But now you have concentration in the center. That's why the quarrel is. The center is ascribed powers and the states are also given their powers. The powers given now are given by the military. That's why we are quarreling. Thank you. There is no balance between the Ten center and the minutes. states. Thank you. There you, admitted, you admitted earlier on yes. that there was a revolution. Yes. And that. I put it to you that in a revolution, there is a de facto government and a de jure government. Certainly. The military government that succeeded and was ruling was both de facto and de jure government over the territory of Nigeria. That is true. Thank you. And to that extent, they could give you a constitution. I mean, if the constitution is not acceptable, there will be revolution. Yes. That's why you're having it all over. Yes. That's why you have a problem. If it is not acceptable, in the you north? have said it. If it is not acceptable, you can commit another revolution. I see. That's what you're having now. Have you got peace in the country now? Have you got peace in the country now? Did you ever have peace in the country? Ah, well, we should ask you. You are a member of the army. You are not cross examining you. I'm, not, I'm the one cross examining you. <laughs> now, you would agree as you've just started, the problems in the country is that it is wrong to ascribe ethnicity as opposed to states which are the constituents of the federation. It depends on what For all think. intent and purposes, government and the exercise of its powers are as ascribed to states and local governments and the center. Yes. It will be wrong, therefore, to look into the effects or to critically compare the effects of the exercise of these powers in ethnic terms. Well, if the effect is... If, it is wrong. It is unconstitutional to do so. It is wrong. Fact, it is not lawful. It is not lawful. I agree, I agree with you. So all the criticisms and all the comparisons in terms of ethnicity is wrong. Agreed. It is unlawful. Agreed. Sir, I put it to you that at the end of the various Nigerian revolutions, Nigeria for once evolved the fundamental directive principles of state policy. Yes, it was said in the Constitution, but how far it is executed as The end of the revolution documented the moral, ethics, 
an ideal for which the Nigerian state should stand for. Yes. You will also know that in that bid and in that effort, they had put in place a rolling plan for the development of Nigeria. There is a master plan for the development of Nigeria. By the military constitution? Not by constitution. By what? By government policy. Which government? Which government? Is it because all the problems that have been now? Has there been a development policy for Nigeria that you know of or not? If the root of the is, problem... Has there been a development policy for Nigeria or not? There will be, depending on who is having it. And if the root... If you don't know, say you don't know. I cannot say I, I put don't it to know. you. There has always been a development policy for Nigeria, yeah. for Nigerian state, or the Nigerian people. Okay, yes. You know that these plans have been subverted by ethnic tribalism or jingoism. That's your own description. I put it to you that we use ethnicity to subvert the plans and, and government policies which are meant for Nigerians as a whole. Uh, that when people we are secure oppressed, these political powers that is not in correct. order to meet the needs of our ethnic uh, preferences. Yes. When the people want their right, they say they are tribalistic. And therefore, when you, you are, are continuing, when you, are carrying the post, you are continuing on this deed to promote ethnicism is contrary and is unlawful to our constitution. Oh, yeah. I put it to you, you are promoting anarchy. Well, you will it is anarchy if you cannot go according correct. to the plan. I, that's not correct. You are encouraging politicians to put aside our constitution to put aside the principles of our country, to put aside our plans, so that country. you can secure power when you get there to satisfy your ethnic needs. Is that what you mean to be a You have not say? spoken for Nigeria. You have spoken for a tribe. You have not even spoken for Western states. Ah, okay. Well, it's a matter of opinion. This is what is wrong with Nigeria. Yo, yo. I put it to you, this is what is wrong with our politics. I put it to you that we have Vision 2010, a perspective plan by Nigerians of goodwill, <laughs> which has been put aside for ethnic preferences. Yeah, yeah. Is that true or not? It's not true. What plan is the government carrying out today, consistent with what they have told us and what is in the fundamental principles and directive principles of our state. You don't know. I do know. I'm I put it to you that I as long you, as we continue this I way, you. you should speak to the politicians. Political parties and political programs should be meant for Nigerians. Yeah, yeah. You agree with that? Yeah, I get it, your view. Thank you. Oh, yeah. My opinion and yours, as long as you want to be in Nigeria, is to prevent anarchy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even understand what he has said. You are clapping. <laughs> they don't understand what the general has said. And they are clapping. Yes? General. General. Well, sorry, lawyer, not general now. I like uh, when you're making your submission to show me which war solved a problem in the whole history of man. War gives the conqueror a bargaining power. They sit around a table to solve the problem which made them start fighting in the first instance. That shows you that we are not really rational. You fight first. You come around the table to discuss why you started fighting. Emphasize that in your address. You, you, you made it as a statement of fact yes. that revolution and war, they will solve problems. They don't. They have never no, solved sir, My problems. Lord, I did not say they solve problems. Because on which we will, we will address you on it. But they change the complexion of the problems. And they change the And problem. create more problems. No. 
it is the management of that change that may create a new problem and of a new dimension. Exactly. But one thing they is certain, my Lord, for more problems. in this arena of political power context, it is either a power is destroyed and changed, Sorry, or a Pro new power Professor takes Professor Beza was sitting behind Thank you. you He's not here. He's not here. The man on constitutionalism and all the isms. Yes. He was sitting behind you all along. So At the end of the day, my Lord. That's on the textbook. It, yes. Thank you, my Lord. Yes. Cross-examine. Anybody want to cross-examine? You want to? Fifteen minutes? Or my Lord, we, how have many no minutes? we have no questions for no the question. witness. Thank you. I uh, give to River State. How many minutes do you think you want to take? My Lord, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? All or right. even less? Yes. The Chief. As a, a member of the younger generation of Nigerians, my question is directed more at enlightening us, the youth of this country, who look up to tomorrow for a better Nigeria. Chief, sir, you gave a horrid picture of how the armed forces after 1966 broke the ethics of following seniority and altered the pattern and the mode of doing things. Now 